Hi, I'm Rob. I'm an adult services librarian at the Robbins Library, and I'm here to teach you a little bit about how to use the Boston Globe database that you can access through the library from home. To start, you're going to go into your search bar here, and you're going to type in robbinslibrary.org to get to our main website. From there, you're going to go to eSources, and then in the menu that drops down, you're going to click on Databases. From there, we have an alphabetical list of our databases, and you're just going to scroll down until you see Boston Globe and click on that. This brings you to the main page of the Boston Globe database. It's good to note that this database covers the Boston Globe issues from 1980 to current day. If you're looking for older issues of the Boston Globe, we do have the historical Boston Globe database as well, but today I'm just focusing on the 1980s to current version of the Boston Globe access that we have. So to get started, you can start with a basic search if you'd like, and you just are going to type in any search terms that are related to the search that you want to do. So I'm going to pick a pretty broad topic of art and just do a search here. It automatically sorts the results by most recent first, so you're going to see things from July 2020 here at the top, and as you scroll down, it is going to get older and older. If you'd prefer not to see the most recent articles first, you can click on this and it will sh you can change it to the oldest first or ones that the search engine deems the most relevant to your search. So if you click on that, it will sort by a different criteria and bring up different results uh, and as you can see the first article that comes up is from 1983 this one is from 2017 so they're coming from all different times now if you're only interested in looking for articles from a certain time period you can refine that down here in the publication date area so say I was only looking for articles from 2010 to present day you can slide the beginning slider here to choose your start date and this is 2010 and then you can choose your ending slider to slide between other dates and I'm going to go with 2020s and once you click update that will bring up only results from within that time period and as you can see under publication date now that we've refined our parameters you can refine them even further so say I was only interested in things from the past two years I could do 2018 to 2020 or if I was not interested in things from 2020 I could move the end date here to 2019 and just remember that none of this will go into effect until you click the update button in addition to being able to refine our results by publication date, there are a few other facets we can refine by as well. So if you scroll down, you can see some of them here. So if we click on subjects, that brings up some subject headings that are contained within the articles that you can then refine by. So if I were to click on musicians and conductors, that would show us results in our search for art that contains the subject heading musicians and conductors. There are a few other things such as company and organization, location, or person that you can refine by as well. Another way that we can begin our search instead of just doing a basic keyword search is to start with an advanced search. So if you click on the advanced search tab that brings you to a new searching screen that has a slightly different layout and allows us to search for a few more specific things. So these are two search fields. We can add more search fields here and we can choose where it is searching so it can either be searching anywhere it can be searching in the subject heads you can if you know the author of the article you can search by author there's a variety of things you can search from here so i'm just going to stick with simple keyword searches and so let's say we wanted to search for art and music so as you can see, the and here has a little arrow next to it, which means that we can change and. So doing a search for art and music will turn up results that have both of those words somewhere in the article. If we change this to or, it will turn up articles that have the word art or the word music. So things that only have art will turn up, things that only have music will turn out up, things that have art and music will turn up. If you want to change this to not, you can search for art, not music. So this will turn up results that have the word art only if they do not also contain the word music in them. So if you remember, on the left-hand side on the previous screen, we had all of the different criteria we could refine by. We can do that here 
before we start our search. So we can search by a subject heading here, a company or organization, a person, a location. And if you click on any of these links here, it will show you a list of subject headings that you can search by if you don't want to just put in your own. So I'm just going to look up a subject for sculpture. And we'll see what subject headings come up. So I'm going to click on sculpture here. Under some search results, uh, you'll be able to scroll down. And you will want to just scroll through everything that comes up with your results. Because sometimes there will be two subject headings that are very similar. And one will have more results than the other. So you just want to make sure that you're getting all of the relevant results that you're looking for. So we're going to add sculpture to our search under subject heading. And then we'll click the search button. And that'll do a search for us. So it's important to note that it's going to remember how you've sorted them. So it's currently sorted by relevance, but if I want to see the most recent ones first, I'm just going to have to change that again manually. So now we have a list of articles, and I'll show you what happens when we click on an article. So if I decide to click on this article here, that'll take us right into the text of the article. So this is the full text as it has appeared in the Boston Globe. One thing to note is that our database does not give access to the photographs that appear with the articles. So it is just the text, but it is the same text that appears in the actual Boston Globe newspaper. A few things you can do from this page, you can read the article obviously, but if you'd like to save it, you can do that. You can save it as a PDF, you can get a citation for it, you can email it to yourself or a friend, you can print it out directly from here, and then under more options, we've got a few other options as well, including cloud saving and some citation tools and some other options for exporting. Also over here on the right, it is going to give you a few articles that are related. And it gives you a list of subject headings and locations that this article has. And if we wanted to click on one here, we can click on that and do a search and that'll perform another search for us. One last feature I'd like to highlight is the ability to have alerts sent to you when new articles come up for search results that you've done. So if I wanted to get news every time a new article is published under the museum subject heading, I would just go under save search slash alert and click, click create alert. You give the alert a name. So I'm going to name this museums. You choose an email address you'd like it to be sent to. And then you scroll down here and you can choose how frequently you'd like to get notifications. So you can get notifications daily, weekly, monthly, or quarterly about articles that come out that match your search terms. And you can choose how long you'd like it to go on for. So I can get them monthly for two months, monthly for four months, monthly for up to a year. So once you've done that, you click Create Alert and then you will start to receive in your email notifications of new articles in the Boston Globe that match your search results, in this case, under the subject heading of museums. And that's all I'm going to do today. There are plenty of other features that you can go around and explore in this database with. And if, as always, if you have any questions, you can let us know at the library, either call us or send us an email or ask us on social media. Thanks for watching.